Hey guys, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. It is nasty outside today. So I got a few things going on. My wife hit the deer a few days ago. I had the insurance company come up and take a look. Give me an estimate. I've got a thousand dollar deductible. So I've got to work through some of this stuff and buy some of the parts at a discounted price. So I found a bunch of the parts for the Toyota Tacoma on Amazon. We'll unbox those parts. And I got a few tools I want to show you. So I've been playing catch up like big time catch up here in the garage. So today I'm just going to clean out the garage. I'll show you the new tools that I got. I'll show you the parts I picked up for the Toyota. And I'll also show you the shelving units that we have here in the garage. Guys, these are really, really heavy duty shelving units and I'll tell you all about them. So come along today on the vlog, we'll show you the parts we picked up for the Toyota, kind of tell you about what we're doing to get that thousand dollars back. It's not rocket science to work on a car, I can tell you that. Body work isn't rocket science. Now, good body work is kind of rocket science, but we're going to knock out the easy stuff and then take it to a body man and have him paint it. Be pretty cool. Come on with me on this rainy day, get a little bit of work done. All right. Folks, I'm ashamed. Look at this disaster right here. Look at my hand tools. We're going to build a rack for those hand tools in a future vlog. Look back here behind me. I tried to make all this as organized as I could, but as time goes on and you're working outside, you end up piling stuff up. I've got grass seed over here, bicycles, hay, not hay, shutters that I need to put on the house, all sorts of stuff that needs to be done. And I've just had outside projects that have been going on. I'll show you the grass here in the front yard. Boom, look at that. So we just seeded that. If you haven't seen the vlogs, look back a little bit. Guys, this was a forest literally two months ago. Look at that. Look how beautiful that grass is. Coming along great. So if any of you guys subscribe to the channel from my gator review video, because I had a bad experience with my gator when I first got it, my mind is kind of changing on this gator. But let me show you, I broke the gator again. I'll show you what I did. So right in here, I broke that CV boot again. Now I can replace the CV boot. It's probably full of sand and grit already. The FedEx guy just came by. He's in a rental truck. I got the new bumper. I'm excited. So folks, a long story short, my garage is an absolute disaster. Good Lord, I have let this thing go. And what's happened here is I've been working so much outside that I really haven't concentrated at all on the garage. I can't do a review of a shelving unit to you because I can't get to it. So we gotta get busy, we gotta boogie down, and we gotta get all this stuff out from around the wood stove. It's getting chilly outside, it's 44 degrees right now. Thank goodness it finally got cool. A guy with a little belly on him needs that. That cool weather helps him a little bit. So without further ado, let's unbox our first tool, okay? So I got me a tool the other day. I was working on the Sprinter van and I had to tighten up the rear U-bolts on it. Well, it took 115 foot-pounds of torque. All I had was this, let me go get it. So guys, all these tools I'm gonna show you today are essential for a man's toolbox. These are great Christmas gift ideas. If you wanna forward this video to your wife, you say, hey wife, I need a toolbox. This right here is called a Venzo. It's a Venzo. It's actually made for bicycles, okay? It's a torque wrench that goes from how many? Two to 24. Focus. There it is. Two to 24 Newton meters. I also have another torque wrench. It comes in this nice little case. Most of these torque wrenches come in great little cases. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Pick this guy up at Harbor Freight, I think. Not the best in the world, but I use a torque wrench maybe two, three times a year. Well, this torque wrench I found only goes to 80 foot-pounds, okay? I'll post a link down below to a torque wrench that goes to 80 foot-pounds, something that's a good value, okay? If you go to a parts store or if you go to Sears or whatever to buy one of these things, you're looking at 130, 140 bucks, something like that. Don't quote me. But I found out really quickly when it came to tightening those U-bolts up, I needed a man's torque wrench. So let me show you a man's torque wrench. We ordered this on Amazon the other day. Here it is, here it is, Tecton, okay? This is the first time I've opened it, guys. So I wanted to show you what it looks like. It comes in a box here. I'll have a link down below posted. I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 bucks. Check this guy out, ooh, Big Red. So, guess what his nickname is, Big Red. We don't need that. So this is a half inch drive, 25 to 250 torque wrench, okay? A man needs a big torque wrench. If you're gonna be working around farm equipment, and stuff like that, this seemed to be the best value out there. It had great ratings and we'll try it out here soon. But that's the torque wrench right there. A man needs a torque wrench, it's by Tecton, okay? Now, is this a snap-on tool? No, am I a snap-on snob? No. 
Do I think snap-on tools are great? Absolutely. But I use this thing maybe twice a year. Do I need to go out and buy an $800 torque wrench or can I get by with a $100 torque wrench? I can get by. I'll post a link down below. These are good Christmas present gifts, guys. Give this to your wife. Say, honey, I need a torque wrench. Man needs a torque wrench. Woo! Another thing I've been doing, guys, I've been feeding my deer a little bit of corn out here beside the house. So I like to feed my deer a little bit of corn. We're putting a little bit of whole corn out right beside my office door. So at night when I'm in there cutting YouTube videos, I can throw the light out there and take a look, see what the deer population is looking like right out front of the house. We already know what they look like out on the highway, right? This is kind of an unboxing day. Let's see what we got here. Parts wise, Pong Yang. I bet you can guess where this came from. <laughs> Tom Yang wrong. Let's get her opened up here. We got Tom Yang for the Toyota. Not genuine Toyota parts, by the way. But guys, are we gonna keep this truck forever? It's going to eventually be transitioned over into a farm truck if we do keep it forever. We're probably going to put about 250, 300,000 miles on this truck and sell it. Doesn't matter if we got this Tom Yang brand or we got the Toyota brand and spent $500. I think this is 40 bucks. Let me show you the old part. Can you tell the difference? Here's the old guy. Besides he's busted. And here's the new guy. Looks fine. Looks almost identical. Should be identical. It's the same diagonal part. Let's open the bumper. So this appears to be the bumper. We're gonna go in here carefully. This stuff was all available on Amazon for repairing your truck. I can't say enough about Amazon and about free shipping for a, something this big. Guys, back in the 90s when I was restoring my old Chevelle, to have this brought in, I would have had to pay freight. It would have cost me 300 bucks to have this thing delivered. It's made by the same company, that Tom Yang. We got the bumper, we got the bumper guard, and now we need the grill. I think this is the grill, guys. Let's check it out. Man, I wish... This knife... I love this knife. I wish... It's, it's a push button. I wish I could totally find a link. I cannot find a link anywhere on Amazon. If you guys can find, if anybody knows this stuff, if you can find a source, this is a Smith & Wesson Army Issue. This is a Smith & Wesson Army Issue knife, guys. I'm in absolute love of this thing. This is the third one I've had. The only issue I've ever had with this stupid thing is this piece right here somehow comes loose. And I've been bouncing on the tractor and lost three of them. Well, excuse me, lost two of them out in my field over here. It's a $100 knife. So right now, this is a $300 knife. Sucks. If anybody knows a good source, leave me a message down there on, on knives like this. I need a good blade, and I do like the switch blade. I, I love that. It just adds an element of cool to it. So let's open this thing up. So my wife's truck is white. And this is black. Gonna save some major, major dollars here, guys. All I have to do is go buy the little metal parts that are under the hood, and I'm done. All I gotta do is buy those parts, put it together, take it to my body shop, have them painted. So if you look at this, this comes with a black insert. And over here, I'll go grab it. So over here is the white grill insert. And basically all I have to do is pop out the black because the white didn't get damaged, slap it in there, and go buy the Toyota emblem and I'm good to go. And I got my grill covered. Directly from Toyota, this part was expensive. So folks, if you're looking at parts on Amazon to fix a vehicle that's been hit or a deer hit it or something like that, this is the brand Tong Yang. Just FYI, seems to be pretty decent stuff. It's basically the exact same part that came off from the factory. Sometimes when you buy this stuff, it's cheap, it's crappy, it's poor quality. This looks great. I'm very happy with it. Now let's talk about shelving units. Now these are the Gladiator 77 inch shelving units. They're really, really heavy duty. Let me take you over here and show you. I think the capacity on this thing is 1500 pounds per shelf. Don't quote me, but they'll hold a lot of weight. I'll take you around the garage and I'll show you each one that I have. I've got a ton of weight on these things. So the way these shelving units work is this bracket seats down into these grooves. So you've got an unlimited amount of adjustment here and they come with one, two, three shelves. Now, the fourth shelf here is a leftover. So the reason I have a fourth shelf down here on the bottom is because you can expand these things. So, like this. If you buy one shelving unit, you get two ends and three middles. If you buy two, 
Then you've got four ends, which effectively expands this to four shelving units, okay? So I really, really like this product. It's called a Gladiator, Gladiator brand, and I also use these big heavy totes for all my stuff, all my gear. I think this is, what, camping gear right here? I've already been through the tote talk with you guys. Everything I've got has to be in totes. I like to have it organized as best as I possibly can. Right now the garage is kind of a disaster, but let me show you the capacity of these shelves. These are 50 pound bags of grass. So I have 22 50 pound bags of grass seed stacked onto one of these things right now, and it ain't budging. These things are good. So guys, if you want a shelf that you want to buy for life, I recommend these things. They're called the Gladiator Shelf. You can get them, I believe, at Lowe's. If you're a veteran, you can get that 10% discount, or you can wait for a good coupon to come in the mail and get them at a pretty discounted price. I think once a year, these shelving units go on sale. So keep an eye out. The Gladiator Shelf, you cannot go wrong. I'll post a link down there for Amazon, but to be honest with you, they're a little more expensive on Amazon. If you can't wait for the sale, use my link down there. If you can wait for it, then you get you some good shelves. This will be a once in a lifetime purchase, guys. These things are gonna last a lifetime. So thanks for coming along on the Stony Ridge Farm today. Just wanted to show you a few things that are going on here today. It's cold, it's rainy, it's nasty. So we're in the shop. We're gonna get this shop all cleaned up, pimped out, ready to go so we can do some wintertime projects in here, guys. And I've got a pile of them. So come on back and see me guys. Click that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and click that little bell down there so you get a notification when I get a new video up. Okay? Thanks a lot guys. We're going to take a trip to an apple tree farm this weekend. So be sure and stay tuned. We're going to take a trip to an apple tree farm. This awesome apple tree orchard that does all sorts of specialty apple trees and you can order them online. So we're going to go check that place out. I'll show you around. It's where I get some of my apple trees from. So stay tuned. Vlog's coming soon, hopefully Sunday. All right, thanks. Woo! Judging by the lady's reaction, I don't think she wants any of you, buddy. Let's see if he tries to find this lady friend. I apologize about that reflection. That's just, I'm in my office right now. Oh, yeah. He's trying to find him a lady friend. So I put some corn out right here and a little salt block and stuff so I could keep an eye on the deer. Some mornings when I'm in here working, I can just look out and check out the deer. You know, ran off all the ladies. They don't want none of you, buddy. Guys, thanks for watching. This is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Just thought I'd show you something pretty cool here in the yard. Pretty deer.